Okay. Show me Trickster. Hey, look at Trickster. Have a very Why nice day. These are two of the good things you want to hit with it. You don't currently have a graveyard, but you know. We don't have any ink. Just kidding. Hi, Imp Warlock. Remember me? Time for the finishing touch. Have a very nice day. Uh, worst draw. Let's muddy the waters. Korok is Korok is back. That. Okay. Hmm. That was still good. It was still very good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, so what is the best way to do this? It's probably just to like double trigger this Korok. Like I can attack here, attack one of these Korok. This turns into this. Give me two Koroks. This give me two of those. Koroks yeah. knock. Koroks knock. Neither do I. Korok is back. <laughs> Would never imagine Killer to defend the Demon Seed. I have probably played more Burning Blade Acolytes than like most sets of like 40 players of Hearthstone combined. Like if you, if you were to like take a random sampling of 40 Hearthstone players, I would imagine most likely I have played more copies of Burning Blade Acolyte than all of them combined. I mean, it's probably not really that meaningful of a statement simply because like I've just played way more Hearthstone than, you know, any random sampling of 40, 40 players, but it sounds impressive. Oh no. Korok remains back. Well. Uh-oh. We may have to play a real game. Speaking of playing off meta, how do you get the legend level of filthy net decking? I mean, I build decks. People net deck my decks. How do you where do you think net decks come from? They they, they don't aren't just like born sprung from like the forehead of Zeus or whatever onto the internet. Someone makes them. Greetings. I wonder if I can just, I wonder if, like, there's a way to build this deck that doesn't include Nerubian Egg. I feel like the Nerubian Egg sketchy information, like, Korok package. Like, Nerubian Egg is so bad without, like, oh, God. Like, if you don't have Shambler Egg or, like, Staken Egg or a Sketchy Egg, it's so awkward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For your entertainment. Incredible. So be it. That wasn't a Tina reference. You got it. Mm-hmm. I guess the question, the question would be, how do I improve my deck building to play the fun stuff I like? Well, the important thing to, to you know, recognize about, like, deck building 
is that you need to build decks that don't just do their own thing, but that, you know, manage to have tools to be good against the decks that, you know, you are likely to face in the metagame. I don't want to play an egg here. Yet. You know, like your your deck building should be, hey, what is my deck trying to do? And hey, how does how do I deal with the things that my opponents are trying to do? And identifying like where you might be able to have a crossover in terms of like what hmm, what you're looking to do. Okay. They can start freezing me this turn. I'm gonna kill their guy. We don't really have a very good way to deal with just getting chain frozen. Yep. In fact, we're almost certainly gonna die to it. This is the this has been a pretty bad matchup every time we played against it in like pretty much every iteration of the smokescreen decks over the over time. Like Snowfall Guardian decks are just a nightmare for you. I can't even I can't even attack and kill myself here. Rip. I mean, like, you can try to make your deck better against Snowfall Guardian decks by playing like Starfish, right? But you're playing a deck that's full of death rattles that Starfish makes bad, and you're also playing a deck that has a ton of like specific interactions that you really want to draw. So having tech cards like Starfish in your deck makes you less likely to hit you know the particular cards that you need. I actually think that is a good lesson in 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 like deck building is that. Sometimes you have bad matchups, and that can be okay, right? Like, you don't always have the ability to make your deck beat every deck. And oftentimes, in attempting to do so, you just make your deck worse against the rest of the decks, and you just make a bad deck. Like, lots of people, every time they lose to, like, a Snowfall Guardian, they're like, I want to put in Starfish. They lose to, like, Carriel, they're like, I want to put in Viper. And then you just have a deck that's full of a bunch of tech cards that actually doesn't beat anything. And that's particularly problematic when you're playing a deck like this, which relies on very tight synergies uh, that allow the deck to be explosive and powerful. And when you have like fewer cards that work towards your primary goal because they're trying to answer what your opponents are doing, then you just end up having a way worse deck overall. So don't do that. Okay, so let's store shadows into smokescreen. Behind the door, more shadows. The secrets do make door shadows more awkward, it's true. Opponent looks like a third person who's gonna want to spend their mana. Obviously, I'll never miss. Hello, smoke screen. Okay. Let's muddy the waters. Um. Oh, I actually screwed this up. I should have prepped the sticky situation first. Let's muddy the waters. I'm stuck. That was really terrible. It didn't actually end up really mattering. I just burned a sticky situation, but and like we didn't actually hit this. We hit this, which gave us that. But it's still not great. We also just have a full hand, which makes you know drawing cards and they battle their mana a little bit worse. Yep. Sushi smoker with the 
Six months, welcome back. Ow. The dead never rest. In the shadows. Sweaty Punani. That's quite the name. <laughs> Thanks for the Prime sub, much appreciated. Merlocula? Oh boy. Alright, we're dead. Yep. Yeah, I mean, like, we hit nothing off smoke screen, basically, and they had a real draw. Hey, it's Luna. Queen sees me. Me tusks won't stop shattering. It's a secret. Aha. All right. That's powerful. Gone fishing is something I've considered too. It does also get better when you have more cheap things like secret seas. Like I can double cross prep sketchy and I get a Halkios, but I don't get anything in play, which is awkward. Yeah, I don't know that I like the Halkios. I think I'm just going to prep, double cross, play Korok. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the Halkios so far. I think the secrets in general are okay. They do make Door of Shadows less likely to find you smokescreen, but like there's the there's the the conflict between minions making mass reveler worse and spells making double cross finding smokescreen less likely. So there's like you could play locations. <laughs> Okay, we found the smoke screen. Let's muddy the waters. Stone Legion, to me. Is that the only one we got? Oh, wow. Okay. Well. Okay. I mean, that's a pretty good spot, at least. Like, this being... I mean, this is does have the freeze on it, right? From the snow flurry, so they could freeze. She can freeze this. We're at 12, though. The whales of these caverns Mm-hmm. So... I think this attacks here, this attacks here, I attack here, or this attacks here. We, need, we want this to, I mean, I guess we could leave this, but I think we want it to, to hit here, attack, attack, and then just play like Karen. Yeah. So this definitely goes to this. I think this also goes face. We play Forsaken Lieutenant. Burning That was good for me. I'm afraid of just getting like pinged and more dredged. 
Uh, Skeleton Mage is, is a legitimately good deck, I think, yeah. I, I actually think I like the, the proactive versions more than, like, the combo-ish versions. <laughs> okay. I don't think any of my cards are good for you. Wow. Burning Blade, okay. Hey, we won! Let's go! Secret Smoke taking down Luna. Alright, um, well... I do like the secret so far. Hail. I see what you are up to. I do not like the Halkia so far, but <laughs> Caught this one even party yeah. snacks. Hmm. What a delicious party! Sneaky. This sucks. I think I think I would change Sketchy and Halkias into two um into two uh gone fishings. Cause we end up with stuff to do early with the secrets. And deck manipulation via Gone Fishing and Door of Shadows. It's actually like, you know, giving us at least something to do. They can also like trigger the secret before even killing the Halkias. Yeah, Halkias just seems, does not seem good. Because like if they trigger your secret and then kill your Halkias, you didn't even get back. Mm-hmm. Your health kit sucks. Well... Let's muddy the waters. Let's go! Let's muddy the waters. The blue sea grows in power. You will never, you will never escape the demon sea. That's good. That's very powerful. Okay. I was playing a bunch of Evolve Shaman earlier today. I liked it. It felt pretty solid. Wanna spend some more mana? Okay. <laughs> so despite... Despite the Halkia sucking, we got things together. And I really think... I like this. I like the secrets giving me early game plays and not having the kind of awkward stuff with, like, Ruby and Egg and everything. I want to cut Halkia, so I want to cut sketchy information. I'm going to play two copies of... of Gone Fishing. Okay. Hail. Nice. Mm, less nice. By my shiny head. I cannot so sneaky. I mean, I previously had double sketchy and Nerubian egg Korak, but I found that the sketchies and, and Nerubian eggs are 
like just weren't that good. Specifically, in Ruby Dick wasn't that good. And I don't think it's worth playing sketchy and one sketchy one Korok. Thank you. The dead never rest. General and Karen, we don't want you on the bottom. We want you in, the, in like the you know like sixth or seventh from the top. Mm. Okay, I'll be stuck against Druid. I don't really play. I mean, against Druid, like, you can just, like, nut them with smokescreen and beat them, because, you know, they don't like, their deck can't really deal with that, but. Oh, sketchy like has can definitely be very good. I feel like improving the consistency of my deck, doing the smoke screen things seems better with my early game being devoted to the secret stuff right now. Oh, that's actually kind of sick with sunken vessel potentially, right? You can actually potentially draw Sunken Vessel off of that. Okay. Oh, the location. Yeah, okay. Five, five. Yeah. The smoke screen. Smoke screen. I'm like choosing between two cards there. All right, we will. Just a mm-hmm. Real shroud. Okay, well, give me my cards. Snowfall. Are they stealthing all these? No attacks. That's rude. That's very rude. Haven't hit a smoke screen. They have 11 on board. Order. All right. Short to be able to do that. Smoke machine has a third from bottom this time. It is. Let's muddy the waters. And we hit nothing. <laughs> are you kidding me? I guess we know two are on the bottom. By my shiny head. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. right here. Maybe I want to play like a backstab. One backstab to backstab my own burning blades. <laughs> oh, that sucked. Oh, is this? He was playing quest, huh? Oh no, it's not quest. Never mind. Oh, hello. That's too many smoke screens. I actually don't want to double cross because I'll end up with too many cards. I'm just kidding. I don't. It's not too many smoke screens. It's impossible. Ah, 
Ow. Yeah, it is true. You could use uh, extortion. Let's muddy the waters. Let's muddy the waters. You just, okay. Okay, that was great. What honed power? Very clever. Well, that was really good. Very clever. Not a bad turn three. I mean, this is this is forty card turn three harpoon gun, so. I don't feel like I, I have any empathy for, for my opponent's fate. <laughs> Chat, what should I get for dinner? I'm hungry. The moment Oops, is sticky situation. Us. Get stick. I can't really eat that much because of my gum graft still. I can't, I can't eat like sandwiches and stuff. I can't eat spicy stuff. Which really, which really cuts out a lot of what I, what I prefer. I have no time for games. Okay. Hmm. Well, I were there, sir. My generals being bottom of my deck is awkward for the smoke screen. What no spicy stuff because it, it, it irritates the like I I got a gum graft so sp spicy food can like irritate the graft site either the actual graft site or the donor site and interfere with healing. Okay. Why do I need a gum draft? Um, it's a relatively, it's like relatively common actually with um, people needing gum grafts for. I, I expect they're looking to play um, uh, Tavish here. But yeah, gum graft because of uh, gum recession. I like grind my teeth when I sleep too too much. So, yep, there's a Tavish. We'll start with attack with this. They probably don't have a freezing, it's probably explosive, but yep. So Maybe I should have mm, we do get this infused now, but maybe I should have waited and tried to tried to hit graveyard. I'm just gonna play this guy. We have two stoneborns. We have we have like almost everything in our deck is awesome for a reveler, so Actually, I should have played Karen there rather than Reveler. Like 100% should have played Karen there instead. Okay, so, ooh, hello. Um, we're gonna start by playing this in case there's Ice Trap. Not Ice Trap, okay. So, I'm gonna play Snowfall Graveyard. This is gonna attack here for emergency maneuvers. This attacks here, double triggers. Well, those are two of the worst things we could have gotten, at least right now. We just have the two stoneborns left. Um, let's... No, we're not going to door. I'm just going to do this. Actually, this is, this is also fine, because we have this. Plus this, which is disgustingly powerful. Like, I still have Acolyte. So, again, my bottom two cards are my two Stoneborn Generals. So Smokescreen cannot hit them. We were hoping for Amisha, because I can't actually kill anything with this right now. Okay. Yes, you are. Okay, well... Oh. 
So, yeah, I'm just gonna do this like this. No dallying. What a delightful party. What a delightful party. Party's over. Nice. What a beat. What Hi. So I have two giant taunts, two giant attackers, this which gives you more giant attackers. That's adorable. You are so yes, you are. Also adorable. Boom. Boom. Okay. Despite both Stoneborns at the bottom of my deck, like, the fact that Mask Reveler, even with the Stoneborns at the bottom of my deck, gives me the ability to get, like, the Snowfall Graveyard Stoneborn hits is just, like, super, super sick. Okay. spice. Ah, ah, I see you brought guests. Smoke screen. Easy game. Don't keep your oh. To yourself. I was assuming this was gonna be quest. Okay. No more, Mrs. Knight. Well. Two bad draws. It's fine, it's fine. Stealing my identity. Identity theft is not a joke, Anduin. Funk Blaster with the eight months. Welcome back. This thanks to the sweet decks and good analysis. Well, thank you. I try. All right. Let's muddy the waters. That's a good one. That's also a good one. No more, Mrs. Nice You have Okay. There we go. Well, live by the smoke screen, die by the smoke screen. 